Hello, and welcome to the State of Iowa Youth Advisory Council. My name is Luke Toma, and I'm your new vice chairman. So, today we're going to be talking about lobbying. And lobbying is often a confusing concept. People often think it's one thing when it's actually another, or it's not explained to them properly, and everything gets confusing and scary, and blah. So, what I'm going to do is break down lobbying for you into a couple easy steps. But first, I'm going to explain to you exactly what the definition of lobbying is, and what you need to be aware of as you lobby. Then we'll break it down. Hopefully after this video you can get a full understanding of what, what lobbying is, how to do it, and feel secure about it. So basically, all lobbying is, is reaching out to legislator, the, the legislator, advocating for a specific topic. So it's usually done by interest groups or lobbyists, and we are lobbyists because we are lobbying for the youth of Iowa. So, that's all lobbying really is. It's basically talking with the legislator about important issues that you feel that they should either support or not support, and trying to convince them that your opinion or your group's opinion, like SIAC's opinion, matters, makes sense, and works. But why does lobbying matter? What makes this thing, this process called lobbying so important? Well, what you have to understand is SIAC isn't the only one that lobbies. It is a fundamental process that goes on all level, levels of our government, and it's quite unique to democracies, because in autocracies like China, for example, the people don't get to tell their, well, to tell their government what they think. It's just not something done. It's a different political system. In places like the United States and much of Europe, you can tell your representative what you believe is right. And they, in turn, in theory, will communicate it to their colleagues, to the governor, to the president, etc. You don't just have to lobby on the state level. You can lobby on the local level with your councils, and you can lobby on the national level, reaching out to your senators and representatives to speak directly in the National Congress or to the president himself or herself. And with that, that's why lobbying is so important. Because by lobbying, we are exercising our fundamental right as citizens of this country in order to make it a better place for all involved. So I'm going to explain to you the way you can actually approach a senator or representative in the Capitol building and lobby with them. There's another process that involves getting them from the chamber and speaking to them. But these two processes, approaching them and drawing it from the chamber and speaking to them, all culminate in the same thing, lobbying process. And that's what I'm going to speak on today. So, you have a senator's attention. Usually, you go up that long formal staircase in the top of the Capitol by the dome, and you get to a large area where there's the House on one side and the Senate on the other. And you'll see all these men and women in suits talking really, really formally about various topics like immigration and corn and farm subsidies and other such things and all generally ignoring you. So what you do is you find one of them that's alone, staring to the distance, thinking about politics or whatever. And you find someone that doesn't seem to be, you know, on their phone or speaking to other people. You approach them. And the first step then when you approach them is you hold out your business card, which you will provide you, will provide you with psychic business cards. And you'll say hello. Uh, my name is Luke Toma from the State of Iowa Youth Advisory Council, and I'd like to speak to you about a topic, whether it's youth harassment awareness, education, health, etc. So then, when you tell them where you're from and what you are, that's step one. Step two is telling them a little bit about SIAC in case they don't know. So you tell them that the State of Iowa Youth Advisory Council exists to represent Iowa's youth in the state legislature. And you don't have to say it exactly like that, but that is generally the gist of the council, in case you didn't know. So, now that they have an idea of who you are and who you represent as a lobbyist, you then, and what you're going to talk to them about, they'll probably be like, all right, so tell me about this issue. And in turn, you tell them what the council's viewpoint is on an issue, that's step two. So step one, introducing yourself in SIAC, Step two, tell them what the council's viewpoint is on an issue. Then, there's one more step, step three, which involves 
telling them, you know, getting their car card, so contact information, and urging them to come to SIAC meetings if possible, to keep in contact with SIAC so they can better represent the youth of Iowa. Because one thing that is not really publicized, but is important to know, is that legislators want to represent youth. Like, we are a big part of their voting, because a lot of us will make up their young voters eventually, and so they want to impress us. It's their job. So they'll be very friendly, they'll be very nice, you can approach them, go through the three easy steps. One, tell them who you are and what SIAC is. Two, explain to them about the issue you're talking about. And three, get their contact information and stay in contact with them. Now, sometimes it helps to tell them what district you're from, and you'll figure this out along the way. And if you're from their district, even better. But if you're not, they still want to talk to you, because just because they represent a district, they're also in representation of all of Iowa. So, with that in mind, it is important for you to try to lobby as much as possible because not only does it get you involved in the political process, but it also makes you contacts. And for things like college applications, it's great to be able to have a relationship with several state senators or representatives because then you can say, hey, I know these people. I've worked with these people. And you will be working with them because lobbying isn't just about telling senators and representatives about issues. It's about helping them follow through with those issues so we as a council can get things done. And that's possibly the most important part. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask Pablo, your new executive chair, myself, your vice chair, or Reka, um, our secretary. And we form the executive council. But there's also a group called Legislati the Legislative Affairs Committee, which is kind of in charge of this whole lobbying process. So they can give you more information as that is. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely orientation and a fantastic time in this organization. It's fantastic, it's fun, and it's interesting. It's nice to meet you, and I look forward to meeting each and every one of you formally at orientation. Thank you very much, and have a good day.